Greetings, this is Sam from SayNow Support. Uh, today we're going to discuss uh, SayNow templates functionality and its API implementation. We will be sending different template calls and we will discuss uh, the difference between, between templates and documents. So uh, what we'll be, we'll be using today is SayNow documentation, as always. We will be using a sandbox account and we'll be also using Postman for calls sending process. All right, um, so to find templates, you should navigate to the template subfolder of the SayNow documentation. Uh, there are three calls here, uh, but we will be discussing two of them. <clears throat> so uh, as you can see, uh, there is a general uh, information about what a template is, but to provide more insights about it, uh, I will show user interface and explain uh, how the te templates work here so that we can understand how they are supposed to work in the API. So um, basically the templates are documents, but the, they can be used uh, unlimited amount of times instead of one time as a document. So any kind of document that you upload to say now, any PDF, it is considered a document and you can see them in the documents folder. You can send, uh, sign them one time and this document will be filled and cannot be reused. The templates, though, they can be used unlimited amount of times. You can upload a document, you can make it a template like this. Uh, let's call it a template. And as soon as you make document a template, you will see it in the template fol folder and you can use it unlimited amount of times. So uh, this is how it works in the user interface. Let's check how it works in the API. So once again, we will be using the request example that can be easily imported. But before we do that, I guess we should go and upload some document first. So we upload a document, take this. We import the request in our postman. And we need to change uh, different parameters depending on our request. So for example, token will be always changed. The second will be body because we will be uh, sending out a request to upload a document. So we have a body of the request. There is a path to our document and we have our token. Let's send the request. All right, as you can see, we've received a document ID that we will be using in our subsequent calls. So we've uploaded a document and we will need to create a template. We will just do the same. We copy the sample request, we import it like that. And once again, we need to change our uh, headers since the token uh, should always correspond to the account that owns the document. So you only need to use uh, the same token that you've uploaded the document to. So we will go ahead and change the body of the request. So we can name it right away. Let's just test API document. Let's call it like this. And we have document ID that will be this ID here. So we just copy and paste it like this. So if you did everything correctly, this should work just fine. All right, now you can see that we've created a template out of the document. However, the template does not have the same ID. It will be considered by our system as a different entity, the one that cannot be changed. So uh, as soon as we have a template ID, we can make infinite amount of documents out of this specific template. So to do that, once again, we will need to use a sample request, get document out of the template. And we take the same request, we import it just like that. Um, once again, we change the token. 
And as soon as we change the token, we would need to go to the body of the request. So in here, we will just need to specify a uh, name of the document, the created document name. Let's call it document, document from API template. Uh, and that's about it, I guess. Oh, no. We also need to specify the template ID. Uh, this can be taken from our previous call. So we will need to take it and paste it in the URL of the request. So as you can see here, we have template ID. We just copy and paste the ID of our templates that we would like to copy. So right now, I think this is done and we should send it out. All right, we've received an ID of the document that uh, was copied from a template. And to be basically, uh, to show how this works on user interface, we should reload this page here, and we will see that we have a third template that was created by API. And we can also see that we will see a document from API template. We should see a document that is named like this. So we can see it in here. Uh, what it allows to do is to create a form or a template, something that is not specific to one signer, and have your integration copy this template and basically have unlimited amount of documents that can be utilized by your integration, since each of those documents will not have any specific uh, information for your signer right away. But you can also prefill it with some specific information using uh, put document call or using smart fields, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Right. Um, this is everything I wanted to share about the templates of Say Now. Have a nice day.